Chapter 4 The Mysterious World of Neurons Mojo arrived at school one day to find a happy surprise. His new device had finally arrived. But just as he was about to turn it on, Katie showed up. Mojo, what are you doing? Becoming a genius, said Mojo. Um, how is that thing going to make you a genius, said Katie. It's going to make my brain grow by zapping it with electricity. I thought that was obvious. Mojo, I think it's time for you to find out how your brain really works, said Katie. It's time to visit Miss Clara. Now, Miss Clara was a most curious character. Not long ago, she was a world-renowned neuroscientist. But her discoveries had inspired her to try a new challenge. And that's how she became an art and drama teacher. Ms. Clara's classroom was in an expansion trailer far away from the main campus. Katie and Mojo made the long climb up the hill and found Miss Clara meditating in her garden. Katie, Mojo, I've been expecting you, said Miss Clara. Um, Katie says you know how our brains work, said Mojo. Well, even scientists like me don't understand exactly how our brains work, said Miss Clara. But we do know a little. We know that your brain is made of tiny bits called neurons. Now, when these neurons connect, they send electrical signals back and forth to talk to each other. Everything you can do, from reading to riding a bike, only happens because your neurons connect. Now, here's the really fascinating thing. You have the power to change how your neurons are wired together and learn how to do things you never thought you could do. How? asked Mojo. There is only one way, said Miss Clara, leaning closer. Learn challenging things. Mojo was fascinated. He turned to Katie. Katie, we're going after the biggest challenge you can imagine. 